when you're listening to a man and he pauses, count to 30 and he'll likely keep going. If you interrupt him, you'll never hear what he truly has to say. A woman realizes the value of listening to a man. She's realized by keeping quiet and let the man speak that she can learn so much from men. Be sure to subscribe and thumbs up on the video. Hey, does anybody want coffee? Who wants coffee? I just made a fresh pot of coffee. Does anybody want coffee? Babe, I got a question for you. What? If I die tomorrow, yeah. do you know how to pay the rent? What do you mean? Do you know how to pay the rent? No. <laughs> do you know how to pay the car payment? What, you mean like your finance? Like your leasing? Yeah. No, you do all that. <laughs> okay, do you even know what car insurance I have? Geico? Oh, good job. Okay. How about our medical insurance? Do you know what kind it is? The, the company? Medicare? No, Medicare? No. I think that's for old people. Oh, we no. are old. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. All right. Do you know how often I water my plant over there? I've never seen you water that thing once. <laughs> Every two weeks, okay? Don't kill it on me, please. That's not enough for a plant. That plant is plenty. Trust me, don't overwater it. All right, I got wait, another. Wait, hold on, because now I feel like I'm on the spot. Are these really hard? They're not hard. This is an easy one. But I just think you probably don't know the answer Dude, to this. I'm English. I don't if know. I'm no longer here and you need a new TV, do you know the passwords for the streaming apps? Monica 2022? No, it's not Monica 22. Do you know what today's date is? <laughs> I have not a clue. <laughs> do you know what day of the week it is? Oh no, wait, wait, I do know. It's Thursday. It's Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> I like to think this is a skit or it's, it's a new girlfriend, whatever. She just came for, to visit. He hasn't been uh, living with her for the longest period. I would like to think like that, or maybe it's a skit. I don't know, but. <laughs> I got my keys, I got my handbag. I'm just, I need my, I need my wallet. We know this. That's your wallet. We know. We all know this. <laughs> the key to a happy marriage is to listen to your husband, respect him, allow him to be the man. Be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to allow him being a man? Bro took advantage of that. I mean, you can't blame him, but. <laughs> He's unhappy, I guess. You're not allowing him to be a man. And let him speak. Ready? <laughs> 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 Don't know why this man is staring at me. Um, Pretty sure it's because he found me or he thinks I'm a weirdo. Let's go. Do you see him? Giving me the heebie Now I understand what Myron was talking about from Fresh and Fit when he says that women live in a land of delusion. This is what he's talking about. Imagine thinking you're Halle Berry, you're a Megan Good, a Megan Fox sitting down and everybody's just staring at you. He didn't even look in her direction. You women have like this self-centered, oh my God, everybody wants you mindset. That is so sad. That's a sickness. Y'all literally scream, I need help. There should be an all women's gym at this point because you guys are getting out of hand, dude. And then you guys will get men in trouble. For not even looking at you. Thank God there's cameras. Because if you ever try to say he did anything or looked at you. There's proof. Mm. They're always looking for attention. They always. A man will sacrifice his life for his family. While a woman will sacrifice her family for her feelings. Okay, so. That just shows that women are loyal to their feelings. And there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> okay, okay. 
I agree with this 100%. I, I would like a show of hands of how many women right now are on dating apps who have matched with a guy and you were having a beautiful conversation and then he asked for your Instagram, so you said, sure, let's move the conversation there. And you switch platforms only to have the replies get longer and longer hey. and longer up until the point he just stops replying at all but still has the time to fire out to your stories like your Instagram. When you're up. listening to a man and he pauses, count to 30, and he'll likely keep going. If you interrupt him, you'll never hear okay, what he so, has um, to say. <laughs> just a realization she's come to now. Like if you, you are just to not to speak for for some time now, you will see that men will be able to express themselves to you, not in a way that you you want, but. In their own way, in our own way as men, we do speak about things. And you'll be able to tap in some of the point of views on some things. But if you're always yapping, you're not going to get anything. Because what happens there is that the moment you interrupt him, you just sit on out for the small talk. Not the real stuff that you wanted to talk to you about. It will just be a small talk now. Because you're interrupting. And it would be like, whoa, the things that like men would share with me. And I was like, have I been missing out on listening, like really hearing men? As women, like we have this joy of just chatting and it's like, oh, it's so fulfilling and it's so fun. And there's like the good kind of drama in it. But a man often will want to tell you the truth. And so he takes his time so that he tells you what is very real to him. If a girl doesn't have social media, is that a red flag or a green flag? Green flag. If she doesn't have social media? Absolutely. Why? Because it's social media is trash. It's like the worst thing that's ever been invented by humanity. Do you have social media? Yeah, I hate it. I feel like it's like taking out the trash or something like that. I hate that I have to use it. Really? Absolutely. I think it is going to be, no joke, it is a piece of the downfall of modern humanity. Oh. In a way that is... That we don't even see it coming. It's going to be like... It belongs right in the colostomy bag. I think a colostomy bag has a higher moral integrity than social media, <laughs> all of it put together. The only man this year that is getting any of my time is the man that makes me feel like a sweet, cute, little baby princess angel fairy, okay? That's the only vibe I'm on. If I'm with a man and I don't feel like that, I will not be engaging anymore. Won't be doing it. I want all of the sweetness. I want all of the love. I want all of the affection. I literally just want to be encompassed encompassed and wrapped in fairy clouds in love in sweetness in softness in luxury like that's my vibe this year